Today, Apple finally announced the M2 MacBook Air, and that's been a laptop that a lot of us have been waiting to see for a while. Now, spoiler alert, if you're a current MacBook M1 Air owner, I wouldn't say throw away your MacBook M1 Air, but there are quite a few significant differences that we'll go over in today's video with my review of using the MacBook M1 Air as a filmmaker talking about this new M2 MacBook Air. So if you're interested, make sure to hit that like, subscribe, and notification bell to keep up to date with the latest videos from the channel. In Apple's presentation, today they introduced the M2 MacBook Air. It has a new unibody design with four new colors. It has an improved display, also an improved FaceTime camera. They offer a 10 core GPU, 10 core CPU option as well. They also have the introduction of the MagSafe. They still kept two Thunderbolt 4 ports, but now that you have the MagSafe, you can actually power it via MagSafe instead of using one of those ports. So it does free up a port for that, although with dongles there is obviously a way around that on the current M1 Max as well. They've increased the total available RAM to 24 gigabytes of RAM, but they're still offering 8 gigabytes on the base model. A big feature is they are offering the ability to fast charge over a 65 watt power delivery so you can charge a 50% battery in around 30 minutes or so if you're using that ability. That is something that's not on the M1 MacBook Air. Now here's where I'm going to say you may not necessarily want to throw out your M1 MacBook Air quite just yet. So there is a performance boost on the M2 MacBook Air. However, they're talking about the upgraded model that starts at $1,400 or $1399. The base model M2 MacBook Air is still a price increase over the M1. They're selling it at $1199, so it is around $1200 this time. They are still selling the original M1 MacBook Air at $1000. So the M1 MacBook Air is still a great value, especially if you pick one up refurbished or used uh, for the money compared to the M2 because the M2 version is still an 8-core CPU, 8-core GPU, so okay, you get one more GPU core on the base model compared to the M1 base model, but that isn't a huge performance boost. If you happen to be looking at the M1 MacBook Air previously to this M2 announcement and you're looking for the biggest price savings, you're still going to get that on the M1 MacBook Air. However, if you're going to get an upgrade version of the M2 MacBook Air, then the performance will receive a hefty boost. And if you're a filmmaker or you're editing in DaVinci Resolve, Final Cut, you're doing a lot of kind of heavier work that the M1 MacBook Air was already kind of on the edge of doing, you'll obviously get a better performance boost over the M2. So I think if you're a professional and you haven't purchased anything yet, I'd probably look at the upgraded version of the M2 MacBook Air if you're looking for a travel computer. If you have the M1 MacBook Air already and you're thinking about upgrading, I think it depends on what your editing situation is. I think if you're fine with the way your M1 MacBook Air is working right now, you're fine with how it performs, you have no issues, probably say hold on to that thing because it's an amazing value for the money. I plan on holding on to my M1 MacBook Air because it's been working great and I'm really only using 30 watt power delivery anyways on the go. The additional MagSafe would be nice so I can use both of my ports, but that's something I can get around. I'm okay with not having a better screen. I never really use FaceTime on the computer. For me, the M1 MacBook Air is a great value. This is just my perspective though. I do really like what they're doing with the M2 and I can't wait to see, but you know, I think in the end we all saw that this upgrade wasn't going to be the massive leap that we saw when Apple first went to the M1 chips from Intel, but it is a really nice improvement on the M1 MacBook Air. I think they've improved the body. It was well due for a redesign anyways. So I like what they've done, but I will be sticking with my M1 MacBook Air. If you have any questions, please feel free to put them in the comments below. And if you got value or knowledge out of today's video, please make sure to hit that like, subscribe, and notification bell to keep up to date with the latest videos on the channel. Till next time, thank you for watching, everybody. My name is Jeff Fagan, and I will see you in the next video.